Okay, good. I thought my mic was off for a second there. Oh, please tell me this mounted combat. That could be so cool. That could be so freaking cool. Oh my god, it's giving me Shadow of the Colossus vibes. Look at those dudes. Well, that... Uh, oh my god, was that like a giant octopus down there? Okay, that guy is just like a smaller gaping dragon. This is cool. Show me gameplay, please. You're not going to, but I want to see it. That's a boss. Oh, god, gameplay! Oh my god! Oh, thank god, it looks like Dark Souls. Oh, what? Wait a minute, what? We're going full anime. That sword, dude, don't cut away from that. Yo, that horse got jumps. Is that a player character? That'd be pretty cool. There's so many different aesthetics here, I'm really liking it. Okay, so I'm assuming that uh, player characters are going to be poured in. That dragon looks mean as hell. Look at him. Red lightning. Okay, I really like how colorful this game is. Oh, that dude had a bad, bad day. Okay. It seems to be so far. A more colorful and vibrant Dark Souls game. Like, it has a Dark Souls element, but there's some key deviances they took there. Like, with the sword charging up. I wonder if charging the sword's gonna be a mechanic? There seems to be a, a heavier emphasis on magic in this game compared to the other games. Magic was always more of a kind of subdued thing. While this one has magic seemingly more up front and center. Like, the, the one ring to rule them all. Okay. That... Look at this dude's arm. He's got a dragon for an arm. Okay. January 21st, 2022. Okay. We play, we play in that. And... Okay, that looked pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. January 2021. So let's look at, take a quick look at some of these designs real quick. Because this really intrigued me, personally. And you, so you have this dude with the with the beating with the beating stick. Right here, this is the main part I wanted to sh I wanted to show off because it shows us what we I assume is actual gameplay. And so you dove to the left. Again, this seems very Dark Soulsy gameplay: dodging big attacks, getting out the way, dodging. I wonder if it's gonna be a weight factor to this game, or if it's gonna be more like Sekiro, where weight's not an issue. And he has this ability here, and it cuts away, so it's no longer gameplay. So I'm, a few things that pop up in my mind. Is this an in-game cutscene? Or did they do this cinematically to so we don't see the actual effect of this giant sword? I'm assuming it just deals more damage, but maybe it has a status effect. Like maybe a blind, maybe a, a freeze, something along those lines. See, it could just also be that it just gives the weapon more range, so you might be able to cover more ground with it, and might just deal more damage. That's what I kind of think it is. If I had to put my money on anything, it was just a more powerful sword. I am so appreciative of the fact that this game looks very Soulsborne-y, and I like the direction change, and having a more colorful, vibrant, magically filled world than the more dark and depressing worlds we are more accustomed to with the Soulsborne games. This has some really, some really interesting aesthetics. I really love the magical beasts they have here. I'm assuming these bluish characters here are allied characters that you can port in. I love how just like big and open this world kind of feels. And I love how varied and cool all the monster and monster designs are. Some really interesting particle effects as well. Some nice contrasting colors. It just, it seems to me like they're taking the elements of Dark Souls, but changing them in such a way to... I don't know, what's the word here? Appeal to a different, dem a slightly different demographic. Like, a more ma For those who may have thought the Soulsborne universe was a bit too low fantasy for them, and just wanted more magic in it, I think Elden Ring's going to satisfy that that particular niche and again you see here all these monster designs like this undead moose thing 
that has a bunch of spirits around it with a skull. There's just so many different aesthetics here that it's really cool. And you still have these dark and depressing undertones, but you have more, these more vibrant, more epic landscapes and battles as well. And that, to, to me, is something I really wanted to nail. And they seemingly have? They have a lot of unique and varied enemy design. Some nice landscapes, actually. Some nice, actually, like, boss enemies to fight the enemies with where you have these tombstones that the boss can knock through around, but you also have this elevated land. Well, it's not elevated. It's more like hilly landscape. So maybe that can factor into the gameplay a little bit. Oh, Elden Ring. Again, it's coming out in January, so I got a little, like, seven-ish months till it releases. I'm really interested in this game. That trailer, we need to see more. I want to see more actual gameplay of it, both from the snippets we saw and from the art stylings of the game that they showed. It has a really interesting premise. It has a really interesting and fascinating gripping world, in my opinion. And I'm really interested to see just how far they really want to lean into this more magical element and this more magical theme, themes and ideology. Not ideologies, but... It's especially interesting to me that George R. R. Martin's on this project because Game of Thrones, which is the thing he's mostly known for, doesn't really handle magic all that much. And it's kind of interesting that in Elden Ring, magic's more of a forefront and they really put a lot of emphasis on that element to it. I'll be really interested to see. And honestly, I never really played as a wizard or a mage in any of the Dark Souls games. I kind of want it in Elden Ring because I'm, I'm just wondering, like, how... Cool. Are some of these spells gonna be like they had this like the spirit like Kamima Kamihameha that this guy used before? I'm wondering if that's a playable spell that you can use, or if that's an NPC. There's so many things, and we can see down here that it's coming out on the PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the PC. Nice. I really like to see that. I don't like exclusives, as you may probably know. I'm glad everyone's gonna be able to play this game if you want. If you want to play it. And pending any delays, I think Elden Ring has the potential to be really good. I want it to be really good. It looks pretty smooth so far. Looks really fluid. Yeah, I'm excited for it. And I just hope they uh, have enough time as a developer team, development team to really put their best foot forward here and for this game to really succeed. So, thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and you'll want to see more content. I know I would appreciate it. Stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody.